Sarah Ray. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are doing a top 10 of the songs I've listened to in 2021. And I'll explain it all. It'll hopefully all make sense here in a little bit. So let's jump into it. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications of when I upload. And let's get talking about this top 10 list. Alright, I hope this will make sense. So stick with me for a moment. I looked at all the songs I listened to in 2021 on my channel. So not the songs that came out in 2021. I'm talking about the 70s, 80s, 90s, and ACDC's recent album. All those songs that I listened to on my channel right? And I discluded the songs I already knew because that don't count. I'm talking about the songs that I haven't heard of and only listen to now on my channel, okay? I made a top 10 list out of those songs. And the way I did it was I took the songs that I've really have been really listening to and really stuck with me and also songs that I thought really belonged on this top 10 list. Like there's just absolutely needed to be on this top 10 list and I I just that's how I created it <laughs> so I hope you guys are ready I hope all that made sense but here's my top 10 list out of the songs I first heard of in this past year here we go number 10 light my love by Greta Von Fleet this song was so elegant so beautiful so moving his vocals the lead singer's vocals were just so so, ugh, thinking about it, I have goosebumps right now. They are just incredible and everything you want in a ballad from influences of our music at our era, 70s and 80s. It is all there. And I felt this song just moved me so much it needed to be on this top 10. So number nine is Run by Taylor Swift featuring Ed Sheeran. I have fallen in love with this song since the first time I heard it and I've listened to it non-stop since. I don't know if it's just their vocals together just sounded so beautiful and so like they were made to be sung together or if it was the way the music just blended together and just sounded soothing to the ear or what it was about this song, but it just calms me when I hear it and I just smile. So this song needed to be on here and needed to be number nine. So number eight is Shooting Star by Bad Company. This song was originally not gonna be on here until I listened to it a a, like a second time or a third I don't remember how many times I've listened to the song really and I sat and had a discussion with my dad and he told me about this time that he went and saw Bad Company and the lead singer sat and sung this song a cappella, and it was the most beautiful thing he had ever heard and he told me the story about this song and it reminded me of what you guys were saying and it just hit me that this song needed to be on the top 10 list. And I went and listened to that song again and I just, I was like, yeah, this is a gem. This needs to be on my top 10 list. I took out ACDC, Rejection, because I love that song and that originally was gonna be here, but I was like, you know what? This song tops that no matter how much I loved Rejection, this song belonged here. Just with the way he sung, the lead singer sung, the meaning behind the song and everything, this needed to be on the top 10. Number seven, Armageddon It by Def Leppard. I was looking at all of the songs by Def Leppard and I just kept, when I was listening to all three records, because I've been listening to them, the top three, the um, <laughs> High and Dry, Pyromania, and Hysteria, I just kept hearing Armageddon It, and the more I've listened to it, the more it really hit me how incredibly catchy this song is, how amazing the solo is. Steve Clark right there, how fun this song is. And I fell more in love with this song. 
and I know some of you guys may not agree with that but remember this is my top 10 list so I'm sure you guys will have a, a field day in the comment section but hey give your guys' opinion on the top 10 list in the comment section if you guys want to go through my reactions playlist I'll leave it in the description box down below the link to that playlist and you guys can create a top 10 list for yourselves but I felt like this song was just so fun that it needed to be on here I just I kept I, I don't know there was just something about it that I kept going to this song and was like yeah this one needs to be on here so the next one this is 10, 9, eight. so number six, <laughs> I forgot what number I'm on. Number six is Bringing On The Heartbreak, again, by Def Leppard. We've been listening to a lot of Def Leppard, so you probably could figure out there's gonna be a few Def Leppard songs on here. And the next one is Bringing On The Heartbreak. And that is because, again, I listened to this song multiple times. This is one of the first Def Leppard songs I actually listened to that I didn't know, and I don't know. I I loved that song. I, I just, out of Foolin' and Bringing On The Heartbreak, I loved Foolin', but Bringing On The Heartbreak was more my speed. I I have now, I guess I'll tell you guys, I was gonna wait till my, I was gonna do another vinyl epi episode, vinyl video of my updated and new vinyls that I've gotten recently but I got high and dry on vinyl and I've been listening to it a lot lately and I just keep going back to bringing on the heartbreak. It's kind of like Armageddon it. I just kept going back to bringing on the heartbreak and it's just so great. And again, catchy. I love the chorus. I love the lyrics in this song. They're just so descriptive and they're so they tell the story that it that rock thing that rock description that rock only has how many times can i say rock but rock again <laughs> they tell a story that is just so they are the only ones that really do it i mean country does it a little bit but and blues started it but they know how to do it right in this song just mm needed to be on here. I just love this song so much. So the next one is Still Loving You by the Scorpions. When I heard this song, there was just this beauty to it, this personal descriptive story to it. So I've come to find out that the it was either the guitarist or lead singer, I don't know if that's the same person, but one of them wrote this song when they were in a field of snow and that surprised me because the lyrics they sound so personal like they went through this and the, the way he sung it just sounded so emotional and longing and, and again you hear that turmoil in his vocals and the way the instruments backed him up they were just so incredibly perfect together a true masterpiece that I just can't believe that from what it sounds like he didn't go through this and I think pulling that out of someone to make it sound like he went through it, that is something special. And you don't have that nowadays. So this deserved to be number five in the list. It was just something so special about this song. And I guess also with it being my dad's favorite Scorpion song might have influenced it a little bit, but it is, definitely a favorite of mine as well. So number four is another Def Leppard song, Miss You in a Heartbeat. I heard this song and it almost made me break down into tears. And to this day, I hear this song and I've played it quite a few times and it still gets me like that. I still get emotional with it and I don't know what it is about this song, but it just brings something out in me that is rare to have a song tap into my emotions like that and this does it's just so beautiful and again descriptive the lyrics the way joe elliott sings and it's acoustic and i think his vocals and, and the acoustic sound 
just goes perfectly together just like it's meant to be the story to it I just felt like that was my number one Def Leppard song that I haven't heard of number three is crying by Aerosmith this song so good I, I said that about all of these songs <laughs> but this song so catchy it's so oh the way the vocals went crying since I met you I just love the way it's sung I love the lyrics instruments everything about this song honestly Ragdoll is my favorite song of Aerosmith's, but I think this song could rival that for me. That's how good this song is. It has just this, I don't know how to describe how I feel about the song. There's just something to it that just makes it so unique and beautiful and it, to me it's everything. And now the top two. I hope you guys are ready for these two. In second place is Hey You by Pink Floyd. These top two songs, I'm just going to tell you right now, I relate to them so much. Hey You, I understand that isolation side. I get what he's talking about and I feel that and I understand it and the way it's sung is so Pink Floyd really and it's perfect in the way that it describes how he's feeling. It, it, you almost hear the panic in him. And so you almost understand, in a way, you hear that tension in the song. You hear everything. So the song just needed to be number two. Just there, hands down, no doubt about it. Number two for Pink Floyd, it had to be Hit You. So number one, can you guys guess what it is? I'm gonna give you a minute. And if you get it right, you have to let me know in the comment section down below if you guess what number one is. Alright? I'm going to give you a minute. I'm going to count down from five. And let me know if you guys can guess who number one is. Ready? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And number one spot goes to Fade to Black by Metallica. This song, hands down, has to be number one. There's no doubt about it. And this is where I said that some of these songs just have to be on this list. Like Pink Floyd, Hey You, had to be on this list. Um, Light My Love had to be on this list, okay? To me, Miss You in a Heartbeat had to be on this list, okay? And Fade to Black had to be on this list. And when I wanted to do this, I knew already Fade to Black and Hey You was going to be one and two. And they're kind of the reasons why I was going to make this list. Fade to Black described almost everything I've felt in my life. It is such a personal song to me. And this song helps me a lot because there's a song that makes me realize people understand exactly what you're going through. It is intricate. Solos are incredible. The vocals are just perfection. Like, and again, you hear the story in the vocals. It's got that rock formula just nailed in there. This song has everything to it. The lyrics, the vocals, the background. It's tens all around. It's just special this song. I also wanted to give you guys two alternates that I kind of felt like could have been on the list, but I already found perfect songs for this list. So I could have added all too well the 10 minute version for number 10, but I didn't, and that's by Taylor Swift. I 
already knew all too well. And I've been there. I understand the lyrics. I know what that's like. So the 10 minute version just gave it a whole new life and even more described exactly what I've been through. It is an incredible song. It is definitely to me up there with the Stairway to Heaven. The knocking on heaven's door and maybe even in Bohemian Rhapsody. It's just a all around incredible song and it has everything in it. And the other alternate song that I felt could have been on this list was Sweet Little Missy by Leonard Skinner. As soon as I heard this song, I fell in love. Just like Bringing on the Heartbreak, to me, this song just has that catchy feel to it, this groove to it that you can just vibe. I feel like it just has this amazing tone to it, this, this beautiful lyrics and Ronnie's vocals. I just love it. I love the background instruments. I don't know who's playing the guitar on this song. It could be Gary and it could be Alan. I love both of their work and it's just the epitome of the 70s. It just is. It's just got that blues funk to it <laughs> and I love it. I fell in love with it and I haven't stopped listening to it since and that's why I felt like it could have been on this top 10 list. And that's why I felt like it deserved to be on the alternate list. Uh, yeah, there it is. That's that's my top 10 list. Let me know your guys' thoughts and what you would have done for a top 10 list out of the songs I have listened to. Or would you replace any of these songs with something else? Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are going to have a great New Year's. We have... One more video before the end of the New Year's, and that video is going to be on what my 2021 resolutions were, what ones did I actually make happen, and which ones I didn't unfortunately hit, and then what my current 2022 resolutions are. So that's going to be that video. That's going to be the last video for this year, and then it's going to be a new year. I'll see you guys in that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and well, and see you in that video. Bye.